Well guys, Yo Chaser. Just down at Numba. Numba Valley. Checking out this beautiful swimming hole here. That's really good, you can see them in there. That and Beanie. Good little swimming spot. But yeah, today I'm um yeah, so today I'm um, I'm just I'm just gonna it's, it's getting late. I was just at a friend's place, so I'm going to uh, check out. Um, I'm gonna drive down the road five minutes. This is where the latest the Yowie sighting was of August in August 2016. It was actually so, oh 2018. Sorry. August 2018, yeah, so I'm going to go up to the natural art, hole in the wall, whatever you want to call it. It's got that many different names. And um, I'm going to time five minutes, see where we end up. So I can try and get a rough estimate uh, where this shall we cross the road. Yeah, I, I've listened to the video a few times. I haven't heard which way it was going. I don't know if it was going east or west. So, I know the guy did say it was, it was straight, but they just come around a couple of bends or something. So, anyway, we'll work it out when we get there. Probably won't get the exact spot, but it'll be enough to give me something to work with. Yeah, I'm still dying. I went away, and I think me, our young apprentice, who was, might have shared some flu with me. So, I haven't been doing too many walks. Plus, me phone fell in a river. You'll see that video later. I still got a heap to upload. But once again, the when it fell in the river, the footage stopped. But the sound still keeps going. So it's pretty funny, you hear it sinking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I, I wish it was filming, that would have been even better. But yeah, it was funny because my young apprentice, he just, we seen this big palm leaf come down. I, I didn't really see it come down, but I, I heard it and sort of seen something at the corner of my eye. But he was saying, he reckons it got thrown. But I never seen that, so anyway. All right, we're going up to this place. All right, guys, we're at uh, Natural Bridge. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive down the road five minutes and um, see where I end up. All right. Tick tock, tick tock. As soon as it gets 47, we will leave. Now, I know this ain't accurate, but it's the only way I can get info to find this. I can only just go over the videos try and work stuff out. I don't mind, I, I actually like the challenge, so it's good. All right, come on, Clark. Fox Farm. All right, we're going five minutes. So, we're gonna go down the road. I'll stop when I get at 52. And uh, we'll see where we are. All right, hang in there. All right, guys. I'm at 52. Now that this might not be accurate. I tell you what, I'm gonna jump out and have a look. All right, so it, you know, it doesn't mean it's here. It wasn't. It was his missus that was driving, so I didn't drive fast. I'm believing that she probably doesn't drive fast. Um, there's a creek down here, but it. Now. Also, just up the road a bit, is the women's jail. Now, I've heard there's a few hairy ones in there. <laughs> it might have been one of them that escaped. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's pretty thick here, look. Goes straight up the mountain. So... 
He did say something about Bendy Roads. That's sort of been his sort of vicinity. Um, comes a car, they'll be like, what's this idiot doing? There's a creek here. That's interesting. Lantana. More interesting. I'm pretty sure there's a few tracks too. There's a mountain straight up the top. So yeah. All right. I'm gonna go down. I'll go. I'll, I'll go another minute because I reckon I'll be anywhere. Any in five minutes could be ten minutes, twenty minutes for some of the people. You know. He did know. He doesn't say exactly how long. He just said, "Oh, roughly five. But it's just funny that five seems to be here. It's pretty cool. This is thick. Don't look like there's any ground. If you look on this side, Springbrook's up the top. Um, so it looks like an area where if you didn't want to be seen, you'd cross, I'd say. Makes sense. We'll go down here. There's a bike. No, it's a car. Oh, here's another creek. You can see that creek. See, now I've drove down here heaps of times. I've never seen this creek before. Wish I brought a torch. I'm going to miss the 6 o'clock news tonight too. Not happy. Actually, it looks like there's a trail. There's a trail through there. Take the other side out. I bet you that's a creek all the way up there. I'm gonna have a look on the maps when I get back. I am I am gonna say this is where it was. And if it ain't, that's a place they would cross. And you can't get in that jungle. I've heard people say they hide in Montana and that. They can get through it somehow. Alright. We'll go down a bit further. Look up there, there's a big mountain up there. Probably a cave up there or something. Cows are going off in the background. Right. It's funny how all the cars slowed down. That's what I had a radar or something. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, somewhere in between here. I reckon that is that's a good creek, I reckon. Also, um gotta thank the Hunters.com forum. They're the ones where all these reports that I get come from. So without them, we, I wouldn't know any. So also on that forum is a fella that he brought up a very interesting point. And that he's another creek here. Look, there's another creek there. So well, I should have went down another minute. We'll just roughly work out a minute. Um, Yowie Bait, his name is. Seems like a nice guy. Seems pretty smart as well. He was saying, because the guy in the video, if you watch the video, the guy's, the guy must have like a, a foot fe foot fetish. He's fascinated by this Yowie's feet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Yowie, Yowie babe brought that up. I did it, so he just said, oh, the guy, because the guy does, he talks about his feet a couple of times, eh? it was, I thought that was hilarious. So, yeah mate, look, mate, if you're watching this mate, I'm only joking. It might make you upset enough to call me. <laughs> that's the idea. So yeah mate, if you're the guy that's seen the shower in August, 2018 with your girlfriend, drive along here. Just contact me on my Facebook page, fogging up here. Um, yeah, because I've got a, I've got a few questions I need to ask you on as well, mate. Hey, eh? so yeah, no, I'm only joking about your foot fetish, mate. That, that's okay. Um, I suppose it's just something you notice. Obviously, you knew about Yowies beforehand, so they're probably.
probably things you're just checking out before you just to confirm it. So it's pretty smart of you actually. Alright, so I'll definitely come another minute. So I reckon it was in that in that bush somewhere. She's on the radio. Around eight, when she heard a loud bang outside her Marsden home. I never looked up in the ceiling, and I just got a fright, and I raced out here, shut the two front doors. But it was only the next morning that she realised how close her brush with the stray bullet really was. I just feel sick. Sick, but unscathed, unlike one of her beloved collector's dolls. The bullet's gone in there, and when the, the forensic lady went like this, it shook out. Almost every angle of Pauline's Melinda Street home is monitored by security cameras, but mysteriously there was no sign of the shooter, leading investigators to believe the stray bullet wasn't meant for her and could have been fired blocks away. I just hope the police can find out who did it because, I mean, the next person might not be as lucky as I am. Police say they haven't received any other reports of stray bullets hitting homes in the area, but they are still investigating. As for Pauline, her nephew is now helping her install motion sensor lights. I'm thinking about someone up now and moving on. And Paris, that isn't the only shooting police are investigating in the South East. No, it's not, Andrew. SES crews have just finished searching this section of Svoboda Park at Currabi for bullets or casings. Ah, that's cool. A teenage boy. Oh, that's Arnie. That's her, um, that was Arnie. If you're watching that, all right. All right, so I missed the news, but that's okay. Someone will record it. So there's one house. The rest is that Springbrook bush, and then that goes up to Binnaburra. Up here, I actually went through Binnaburra the other day. It was weird. I, I walk, if you watch my video, the Binnaburra one, I actually walked down and um, oh man, I did hear some weird noise. I didn't hear nothing for ages in the bush there, right? And then um, I got to a certain point, I didn't want to walk any further. So, But I stopped and, and I was listening and there was some weird noises. There was animals going off everywhere. So I'm just wondering if that six foot yowie, the chestnut brown one, is he going up in through there? I don't know what that noise was then. Seriously. It's probably a cow. Something just went. Rrrr. Anyway. I'm going to end this one, guys. I'm going to spend some more time out here. so far to come out here if anyone wants to buy me a house out here so <laughs> as it can set up out here that'd be nice <laughs> uh. all right so yeah i think that's very crossed there must be cows anyway i'll go i'll go back to that creek down there i reckon i reckon that's where it was yeah anyway, i'm gonna end the guys all right, hope you've um, enjoyed all today's adventures. All right, catch us on the next one. Oh, now, if anyone from around this area, Numb and Bar Valley, is watching, and you've got any Yowie reports, sightings, anything, let me know, guys. Get in contact with me. We'll keep everything anonymous. No one will know who you are. I'm just trying to gather information. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. See you later. Bye.